Morning guys, <clears throat> Monday morning, beautiful day outside, it was a really nice weekend, it's going to be 25, it's going to be really hot tomorrow, we're three weeks away, let's just stick at it and, and we will be good. Thank you to the people that joined in on the Google Meets, uh, it was nice to talk to you um, and just answer some questions about fractions. So we looked at adding and subtracting fractions, like fractions, unlike fractions, where we have a uh, one where we have an existing denominator which is the same, and then one where we have um, uh, denominators that are different. So we need to find common denominators. I wanted to take, you know, a little bit of time just to look at mixed numbers. So we've got mixed numbers with like fractions and then mixed numbers with unlike fractions. Okay, so let's kind of go through this real quick. So look at this first one right here. So we have one half plus or one and a half plus two and a half. Okay, so let's we're going to go ahead and just rewrite the question here, I think, to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so let's go rewrite this question. Let's go one plus two plus a half plus a half. And I think when we look at the question like that, it makes it a little bit easier, okay? So one plus two is three, plus, now I've got one half plus one half. And if we go to do this fraction just, just kind of in itself, okay, if we were just gonna look at this right here, we've got uh, uh, a denominator which is the same. So we don't need to do anything to the bottom. So one plus one is two. So this is really like plus two over two which simplifies to, to one. So really this question is asking you, or to get the answer, it is three plus one. So we're to simplify all this and actually do the work, the answer is four, okay? When you think about it, when you think about this and you don't really think about it as a fraction, you've got one whole, this is basically like one pizza and a half a pizza, plus two pizzas, and a half a pizza. So you think about it, one plus two is three, so there's three pizzas, you got a half a pizza, and you got another half a pizza, you put them together, you got a full pizza. So you got four pizzas all together, okay? Sometimes you look at it like, let me just put that in there, um, you got one and a half, one and 50%, plus two and 50%. That's gonna give you three, and then 50% plus 50% is 100%, so you've got four. That's how we answer a question like this, okay? Let's do this other one. So we've got two and one third, plus one and one third. Let's go ahead and rearrange that question. Two plus one plus one over three plus one over three. Pretty fair, I think, right? Let's do the first part. Two plus one, three, plus one over three plus one over three, okay? Now, we, we've already done this right here. We had that whole number three, we have three pizzas. But I got a third and a third. So uh, we would go, we have like fractions here, like denominators. So we're gonna add the numerators. So we're gonna go one plus one is two. So now we have this, three plus two thirds, okay? So really our answer here, if I bring it up here, is two and one third plus one and one third is three and two thirds. Okay, three and two thirds. Now, let's just kind of take this a little bit further so we know, again, how we go backwards, how we go forwards. So this is simplified down to a uh, mixed number here. But if we actually go in reverse here, this was an improper fraction at one point. This was a fraction that had a numerator that was greater than a denominator. So if you're asked how to sort of um, take this mixed number and put it back into a fraction, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go three times three, okay, so three times three is nine, and then plus two. So three times three is nine, plus two is 11, 11 thirds. This is in improper fraction, meaning it's not a proper fraction. A fraction is, well, just what it says. It's a fraction of a whole, but this actually uh, shows us um, 
that there's that there's more than one hole here okay and the way we would go back to do it into a mixed number is you've got 11 thirds okay now we know that um, if this 11 was if I got rid of 1 and it was 1 over 3 that's 33 percent of a hole 2 over 3 66 and then 3 over 3 is one hole so we have to think about how many times 3 that's the size of our pie right that we can get three pieces out of this pie but we've got a bigger pie here so we can go three goes into eleven once three twice six three times nine so we know it goes in three times and then what's left over if you, if you take nine from eleven two-thirds okay so this mixed number goes improper fraction 11 thirds, and then if we move it back to a mixed number, we want to think about how many times 3 is going to divide into 11. It's going to delight, divide into 11 three times with the remainder of 2 thirds. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. Hopefully we, we see that, okay? You know, it just takes a little bit of time to kind of think about it, um, but uh, I, I think once we get that, we, we are good. Okay, let's do a subtraction question with like fractions here, okay? So we've got four and two eighths, and then we've got minus one and one eighth, okay? So let's rewrite this. Four minus one, minus two eight, minus one eight, okay? So think about it like this. We've got four minus three is three, okay? And then we've got 2 eighths minus 1 eighth, okay, is going to be 1 eighth, all right? So 3 and 1 eighth. That gives us our answer there, okay? So you think about it. We had 4, and we minus 1 is 3, and then we had 2 eighths. And then we're going to just minus 1 eighth, so 2 minus 1 is, is 1 eighth. So it gives us 3 and 1 eighths, okay? If we were to put this into an improper fraction, okay, we have to go 8 times 3 is 24, uh, and then you've got the 1 there, okay? So hopefully we're able to figure out what's going on with the uh, using mixed numbers and adding and subtracting, okay? Let's go down here and let's figure out what we have when we've got adding mixed numbers with unlike fractions. Okay, move my arm here. Okay, so we want to add mixed numbers. One way to do it is we could move it into an improper fraction where we didn't have a mixed number. We could find the common denominator. We could move it back into a mixed number. It's a lot of work. Okay, it's a lot of work. So what we're gonna do is, let's just do, we'll do two examples here and I'll assign the third one for homework and I'll assign a couple other questions, but here we go. So let's rearrange this question so it makes a little more sense. So three plus four plus two thirds plus three fourths. Okay, so really that's what our question is asking us, right? So we're going to go 7. And then now we're in a situation where we've got 2 thirds plus 3 fourths. Okay, so we think about common denominator. We got 4, 8, 12, uh, 3, 9. So 12 it looks like our common denominator is going to be. Okay. All right. So in order to get... Uh, this one up to 12, we got to multiply by 4. So then 2 by 4, so that's going to be 8 plus 9, okay, uh, is over 12. So let's bring it up here, okay. So we're going to go 7 and 17 twelfths. Oh, looks like we've got a little bit of an issue here. We've got an improper fraction and we already have an existing whole number, okay? So, 
we're going to have to simplify this. So what are we going to do? Well, 12 goes into 17 once, one full one. We already have 7. Now that's going to go to 8 now. Okay? And what's left? 17 minus 12 is 5 twelfths. So when we look at this, we actually have 8 and 5 twelfths now when we put that together. Okay? When we had to find the common denominator, we actually ended up with a situation where the numerator was greater than the denominator in that fraction part okay remember don't be scared or you know uh, don't be wary if you see that you know oh you've already got a whole number here you got seven holes and now you've got a, uh, an improper fraction to deal with that's just going to add on to that whole number okay so uh, seven and 17 17 twelfths is going to give us eight okay 12 goes into 17 once with a five remainder five twelfths Okay, so there's a few steps here. Let's do this one. Let's go rewrite it. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth. Okay, so we know next step is going to be 1 plus 1 is 3 plus. Now, let's work with a common denominator of 4 because we know 2 is a multiple of 4. We can easily work that out. So we'll go 4. So we'll go 2 times 2 is 4. So 1 times 2. That's going to be 2 plus 1, okay? Because 4 is already there. Multiply by 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So then we've got, let's bring it up here. 3 plus, what is this? 3 fourths, okay? So really, 3 and 3 fourths, all right? So we've got this answer for here. We've got this answer for here. Okay, I'll assign this one. See if you can try this: seven and three fourths minus two and one half. Okay, that's that's uh, when we're when we're taking away. Um, we'll take up the solutions for that tomorrow. Oh, this is already twelve minutes. So this is a long video. Okay, to go over mixed numbers. So hopefully you follow along. There's a couple different ways to do it. I like rewriting the question, and then I like what we did at the top here when we have like fractions. Um, you can see how it goes into an improper fraction, how it goes into back into a mixed number. And then just remember, right, when you're rewriting the question with unlike denominators and you need to find the common denominator for the fractional portion, okay, if you have an improper fraction, that whole is just going to add on to that already existing whole number. So it gives us 8 and 5 twelfths, okay? So I'll post a little bit of um, adding and subtracting of mixed numbers, okay? And then we're on to some word problem stuff and then to multiplying and dividing fractions, okay? Have a great day, guys. One thing, I, mean, I am doing some report cards, so I won't be available until later on this afternoon, okay? Have a good one.